What is up guys? Alex Acevedo here, Field of Sports Performance. Today I want to talk to you guys about laminar and turbulent airflow and that how that creates the laminar express two seam uh, that a lot of guys talk about. So this pitch is really unique in that the spin rate, spin axis, uh, it does not affect the movement of the ball. What move affects the movement of the ball is the airflow the turbulent versus laminar airflow and uh, high and low pressure systems and how that affects uh, where the ball is going to move. Um, so I drew this vid visual for you guys here. This is the baseball right here in the middle. Uh, the target is up, the thrower is down. So the ball's moving this way. And these colored things you see here, that's the air, the airflow that we're going to see. And so what I want you to notice is that the ball is tilted this way. So you have a, kind of a low spin efficiency fastball where instead of the, the axis, instead of the axis being perfect, perfectly lateral, we're seeing that axis like that. It's a little bit tilted. So what that looks like is instead of throwing the ball perfectly like this, the ball's actually gonna come out of your hand this way and spin that way. So you can see the white of the ball on this side, but on this side, you just see the laces. And so how that affects the movement of the ball is that on this side of the ball, you're gonna see that the, the laces are cutting through the air, right? But on this side, you're just getting the, that smooth part of the ball cutting through the air. And what that does is it creates this turbulent airflow on the side of the laces. And, and that turbulent airflow creates all this this, this high pressure system here. So all that air, because of the laces, is kind of being compressed into this high pressure system. But we don't have that on the other side. On the other side, the air is able to smoothly pass, pass the ball, and there's no, no there, you don't get that high pressure system. So it's a lower pressure system on this side of the ball. And when we have that high pressure system and the lower pressure system, what we're gonna see is this force vector, this pushback from the high pressure system. And that, that pushback is gonna result in this force vector moving this way towards the lower pressure system. And that's where you're gonna see that, that movement towards the low pressure system, that big arm side run. So when you see those guys that have those nasty two seams and sinkers, uh, a lot of times is, is actually coming from the laminar airflow, that laminar express that we're getting. Um, that, that turbulent airflow, laminar airflow, Turbulent airflow is pushing because of the high pressure system towards the low pressure system. And that's where we're gonna get that big arm side run with the two seam. Sometimes this affects other pitches, but we most frequently see it and most predominantly see it in the two seam and sinker that a lot of guys throw. Hope you liked that video. I hope it was informative for you. Stay fearless.